Good afternoon. Today we're located here in the Floyd Community Amateur Radio Station, N4USA in Floyd, Virginia. We're going to talk about an old-fashioned antenna tuner, the Johnson Matchbox. This is a 275 watt tuner and these tuners were made in the late 40s, 50s and perhaps even into the 60s. But they're old-fashioned, but they're very good. People still use them. We're going to take a close-up look at the front panel and what's on the back side and then inside, and then we'll look at the schematic diagram and get a good idea how this whole tuner worked. Well, here's the front panel and controls for the Johnson 275-watt matchbox. Over on the left is your knob for the tuning capacitor. Down here is the band switch for the inductor to resonate from 10 to 80 meters. And over here is the tuning knob for the matching or output variable capacitor. So let's take a look at the back panel and we'll go inside and take a look there. Or here's the back panel for the E.F. Johnson matchbox tuner. You see the coax input. Nice sturdy bolt to do the grounding. A control strip here to hook up to the RF probe. Turn your receiver on and off and switch between receive and transmit to control the relay inside. And the output up here is either a single wire or balanced wire. You could also hook a coax up to where it says single wire here and I'm sure this would work fine. But this is a 275 watt Johnson Matchbox antenna tuner. Here is the schematic diagram for the Johnson Matchbox tuner which can work up to 275 watts. There's a coaxial input from the transmitter some of these models have internal relay switching to switch between the receiver and the transmitter and the RF itself is over here through a link to a tuned circuit. This tuned circuit is tuned to the transmitting frequency by adjusting the inductance with these switches and tuning with these two capacitors. So this is tuned to your resonant frequency that you're transmitting on. The output goes to either a single wire or terminal or twin lead uh, connections and the impedance matching is accomplished by adjusting these capacitors here to match help match the input impedance to the impedance you see out here. Over here we see a readout, SWR readout for the directional coupler which connects right in here. We'll look at that directional coupler as well but this is SWR or standing wave ratio uh, here are the components for the 275 watt Johnson Matchbox antenna tuner. Down here in the lower part we see the coax input going over to the relay for controlling receive and transmit. Here you see the tuning capacitor and the big coil here is the one that's tuned to resonance. There's some taps in here controlled by the switch down here at the bottom to resonate this on the various bands and this outer coil here is a coupling, uh, untuned coupling from the uh, coax input. And over here on the right is the matching capacitor and you see on the back these two go to a tuned line or, or uh, twin lead. This goes to a single wire antenna. Very simple not too much uh, in terms of components there, but it's a very popular tuner, still used by lots of people. We use long wires and we use uh, twin lead, which a lot of antennas do. You can still buy these on uh, eBay and other places. They're also a nice collectible, they're quite an antique.